Today we're looking at a quick hack to pause execution of JavaScript before the browser sends you to a different page. So we can inspect what is going on in that data layer and see the state of it and see and understand why certain things are sent to Google Analytics. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Data David and this is my channel, Data David. Together we learn about analytics and other fun stuff to do with data and measurements. Often we end up using Google Analytics because that's what I happen to know. This is our problem. We're on this website. We've set up tracking on the submit event. It will send stuff to the data layer about the user. And then Google Tag Manager picks that up and sends a Google Analytics event with the sign-in data with my user ID. But I know from having inspected within Google Analytics that the data doesn't look correct. So we're going to try to debug that. So to do that, we've opened the Chrome console and I'm using this observe point Chrome extension to see tags being fired. And what happens is I sign in. And now Google Tag Manager will show stuff here, but because the browser will go to a different page, this whole bar will just be removed. See here, boom. And then I want to, that is the, uh, that's what I wanted to inspect. We can see it in a replay. And then I want to, that is the, uh, But of course I used this record button here to see what was going on. Aha, uh -huh. this is my problem. I know I want to have an event label with data of the user ID. I know I've set that up correctly because when I sign into Google Tag Manager, I see here, I'm sending the data layer variable user ID that is working on other places of the website. So what is going on? That's what we're going to find out. But looking here at this, we only see that the action is used to sign out and sign in, which is, which is this, the action, we've done that. And then the category of the event is user interactions. That is also there, but there's no event label. And why is that? I can't inspect it here because I've already moved to a different page. How can we solve this? The solution is a small bookmarklet. A bookmarklet is a bookmark with some JavaScript in it. So basically what happens is when I click this, this JavaScript will be executed. And you use it by going to this page, you can see it in the description, and use this link and just drag it to your, to your toolbar there. And then you can click it and it will fire. So what will happen is that if you have a console open and tries to move to a different page, it will run the debugger command, which will pause execution. So if I open a Chrome inspector and click to a different page, it pauses, which will allow us to inspect stuff going on. We can open the console and run stuff. You see here that it also outputs what's going on in the data layer, step by step by step. So how do we use it? This is where we enter our details so we're ready to fire. One secret password. Then we click this button. We have fired the JavaScript, but it only works if the Chrome console or inspector is open. So we just open this inspector bar to have stuff active. And then once the browser tries to move to a different page, the JavaScript will fire and we will be able to see what's going on. Boom. Ha! Ah, paused in the 
bugger. That's great. We see here that the event is fired. And this is the data layer event that uh, caused the, this Google Analytics events, event to fire. And it has stopped at this thing that was executed by this script. And it outputs the data layer. And we see here that what is being pushed is changed user type event, which is, this is the same as this. And this one triggers these things, like that one. And we see there is no user ID data layer value. This one is still empty. It's, it, it's undefined. And if you try to set a variable as undefined, Universal Analytics and Google Analytics will simply just throw it away. It's, it's like it's not there. So now we know what to tell the developers. Hey, developers, on this user interaction sign-in thing, on this event that you've built that pushes stuff to the data layer, you should also push the resulting user ID of me when I sign in to the website. Thank you for watching. The bookmark list is down below. Hit like, hit subscribe, write comments, and uh, give me ideas for new videos. Until then, uh, I would just say have a nice uh, beginning of winter and see you in the next video. That's it. Nothing more.